Hey friends, I am back with another What Sold video. So if you want to know what has been selling this week, stay tuned. Hey friends. It is Stephanie with Three Queens Resale, and I am back with another What Sold video. If you are new here, I share reselling tips and tricks, hauls, and what sold videos on my channel, and I'm starting to do a little vlogging. So thanks for joining me. And of course, reseller besties and accountability partners, I love you so much. Thank you for all your support and engaging with the videos and helping my positive reseller YouTube community grow. In this video, we're going to talk about what sold this past week. This week was a very off week for me. I have been very sick since last Sunday. And so while I've tried to like come on and do a little videos, a few little TikToks just to kind of a few shorts here and there just to kind of keep things going. It has been a long, rough week. I finally went to the doctor on Friday. I was trying to self-treat myself because I am self-employed and our health insurance, we have like a crazy deductible. So I really tried not to go to the doctor. Um, I did take a COVID test last Sunday and it wasn't COVID, um, but I just was so sick with like, migraines and like everything from like here up and just an achy feeling and tired and lethargic and then for those of you who aren't familiar I'm a type 2 diabetic and my all that made my blood sugars go crazy so when you work for yourself and you're sick it's gonna be a rough week um <clears throat> uh towards the end of the week I was able to go like sourcing a little bit but um Sales were kind of slow compared with, and I did do some like lay around and do some listing, but I think we're coming out of, we're transitioning between summer back to school and sliding in a quarter three starting to have, I noticed at the end of the week, um, more fall winter type item sales. So I'm going to get into what sold. I'll pick up where we left off in our last video, which was Sunday the 11th was our last video so we'll start off with Monday and Monday August 12th we had zero sales it's not often that we have zero sales days but to be honest I was just so sick on Monday that I it didn't even like phase me that we didn't have any sales I didn't realize it till like later in the week that we didn't have sales on Monday and that we were having a slow week on Tuesday, August 3rd, 13th, we did have four sales. Um, we'll start with Poshmark. We had this Maurice's long sleeve zip up 2XL um, knit sweater. It had been listed since August 1st, so just about 12 days. And it sold for $17 after the $3.40 in fees. I was left with $13.60. Then the other three sales were on eBay. eBay is starting to really pick up for us. So this first one was also um, sold on August 1st. And it was these Joseph Ribkoff pants. They were a multicolor, like ankle pant, pull-on, size 14. Um, the order total was $50.36. The sales tax was $329. The transaction fee was $6. 62 the shipping label was 507 and my earnings were 3538 not bad for like a 12 day flip from the bins all of these all of these items are, items are from the goodwill outlet also known as the bins next up we had this karen scott red xmas sweater new tag size 2x it has been listed since july 23rd the order total was $27.53. My uh, the sales tax was $1.20. The transaction fee was 380. 
and the shipping label was $6.33 and I made $16.20 off of that. And so that was the day that I found, I believe, three Karen Scott New Tag plus size Christmas sweaters. I actually think this one sold quickly um, because it has cats on it. And I know like cat lady themed stuff is like selling right now. So if you have things with cats on them, go ahead and get them listed while it's timely. Every now and then the universe throws you a reseller curveball or like just straight like down the, the line pitch and lobs it to you and you got to pick up on it. So if you have things with cats on them already listed, go back and add like hashtag cat lady as well. Next up on eBay, we had this J Crew cardigan sweater. Um, it was a size medium navy blue. And this is the oldest listing, I think, of the week. It had been listed since October 19th of 2022. So going on two years. Um, the order total was $23.82. The sales tax was $1.02. The transaction fee was $3.56. The shipping label was $5.80. The ad fee was $1.19 and the earnings were $12.25 and that was marked 60% off because anything in our closet longer than 365 days um, in stock on our eBay store is marked at 60% off. So it finally went and I just implemented that back in July. So I'm starting to move some older items because we have implemented that markdown schedule. So on Poshmark, we had one sale for $13.60. eBay, we had three sales for $63.83. And our total for the day was $77.43. And our average sale price was $15.96. Our cost of goods was $4.60. And our total for the week so far was $131.98. Of course, those numbers are all after fees um, for shipping and platform fees. Moving on to Wednesday, August 14th, we had six sales, sales, uh, one on Poshmark and five on eBay. So the first on Poshmark was this North Face long coat size small. It was a long um, full length puffer. It was missing the hood and it had been listed since May 6th of 2023 and it was a size small. Um, this sold for $30. After the $6 in fees, I was left with $24. I probably could have hold out, held out because we're approaching that season again, but we have so many coats that I've really stopped sourcing coats because our coat closets are full downstairs and so I'm just ready to move things and in fact we will have a whatnot coat show I'm planning it for the first weekend in October like the first maybe like Friday Saturday in October it's not on whatnot yet but definitely look for that um next up we'll go through the eBay sales we had this Chico's plush window pane print cape jacket gray size small the order total was 42.39 the sales tax was 2.93 the transaction fee was 5.64 the shipping label was 7.43 the ad fee um i did have that promoted at two percent was two dollars and twelve cents and my earnings were 24.24 24. And that had been listed since March of March 25th. Next up, we had these Levi's 529 curvy boot cut size 33. Now, I never get a lot for these, but they do sell. I've sold several pairs of Levi's curvy boot cut. Um, and like I say, I recommend the larger sizes, size 12 and up. These had been listed since April 22nd. So I think they were, they had just gone on sale on our eBay. Um, but the order total was $21.56. The sales tax was $141. The transaction fee was $306. The shipping label was 515 
and my earnings were $11.94. Next step was this Matilda Jane 435 Creative Genius Tunic. It The order total was $17.03. The sales tax was $96. The transaction fee was $2.50. The shipping label was $5.07. The ad fee was a dollar or was 85 cents. And my earnings was six seven sixty-five. That had been listed since December 6th of 2023. We don't pick up very many kids' clothes anymore. The ones that I do pick up are meant to go to the consignment shop. Um, to Once Upon a Child. If they don't sell there, what I am starting to do is if I feel like it is a brand like Matilda Jane that could stand alone, I'll go ahead and list it. But otherwise, I'm lotting those up and auctioning them on eBay. Um, next up, we have this L.L. Bean White Robe Size Medium. It had been listed since June 27th. The order total was $30.65 and the sales tax was $234. The transaction fee was $419. The shipping label was $831 and my earnings were $1581. So friends, I know it could be tedious that I go through all of those numbers and I like to pop them up on the screen so that you can see them. A lot of times when resellers share their number with you, they share what would be essentially the 3065 but not the 1581 and the 1581 is what goes into my pocket so nearly like half of the total of that is in shipping shipping taxes and fees and so i want to be transparent as to how much money we're actually bringing home after all of those deductions and still even on that 1581 we still need to pay income tax. Next up, uh, our final e sale of the day was on eBay, and it was this gallery trench coat black size large. Once again, it was on sale for 60% off. Um, it had been listed since November 21st of 2023. Not 60, because it's not three, it's not quite a year. So 50% off. The order total was thirty fifty two. The sales tax was one thirty eight. The transaction fee was four sixty seven. The shipping label was six fourteen, and my earnings were eighteen thirty three from that. So our numbers after fees, uh, shipping, and discounts. Poshmark we had twenty four dollars for our one sale. Then on eBay, we had $77.97 for five sales, bringing our daily total to $101.97 for the six sales. And our average sale price was $16.99. I didn't do cost of goods that day. Let's see. One, two. I would say about $9 cost of goods. And then our weekly total is $12. $233.95. I have to take a break between each day to blow my nose. Um, next up is Thursday, August 15th, and we had six sales again. We have on Poshmark, we sold this Flirtitude Bra Gray Size 34C, and I did send out 30% off offers on Poshmark on this day. Chicos, we had these So Slimming Girlfriend Pants, size 14. And you guys, I didn't, oh wait. Those have been listed since February 15th. The Florida 2 bra was one of my daughters from like when she was in middle school. It was probably one of the first things I listed six years ago. So um, I'm happy to see that go. But these Chico's pants have been listed since February 15th, and we made 10.05 on those. Then also on Poshmark, we had this loft floral embroidered top size large. It sold for $11 after the $2.95 in fees. We were left with 8.05. Then we had, and that 
been listed since April 28th. I'm not sure if I said that. Then next are our three eBay sales for the day. So we started off with this Lululemon Sports Bra Black Size Medium. The order total was $23.51. The sales tax is $136. The transaction fee is $330. The shipping label was $455 and the ad fee was $376, bringing our earnings to $1054. That had been listed since May 1st. Lou um, a lot of Lululemon products don't command the price that they used to. I would say the scoot, the, anything that's like a jacket or a pullover is where the real money is as far as what's valuable for Lululemon because I think the market has just become so oversaturated. Um, so definitely, I mean, definitely still pick it up because it's going to sell, but be realistic. I see Lululemon price like sports Ross priced at like $50 and I'm like no one's gonna pay that for that even new at tags because they go pretty cheaply even on whatnot auctions next up we have this soft surrounding straight leg pull-on pant size extra large and I'm gonna start being more careful of what I pick up from soft surroundings the brand itself is very expensive it's like a lag and look boho more mature brand because the pieces are very expensive from soft surroundings but I feel like um you need to kind of focus on more the more statement pieces um, this one had been listed since April 27th, so it sold, you know, within, what, four months, but the order total was $17.66, the sales tax was $0.51, cents. the transaction fee was $2.58, the shipping label was $5.15, and my earnings were $9.42. And then finally, on Thursday, we had this Columbia Omni Shield Anytime Athletic Skirt Skort in tan size medium. It had been listed since August 6th, so it sold in less than um, nine days, less than nine days. Like, that's a pickup or so the order total was 2346 the sales tax was 208 the transaction fee was $3.30 the shipping label was 438 and our earnings were 1370 so for Thursday uh, we had three sales on Poshmark totaling 2215 and then on eBay we had three sales totaling 3366 for a daily total of $55.81 for the six items. And our average sale price is $9.30. Um, and the cost of goods for that day was $4.60. And our weekly total is at $2.89.76 for the day. Then moving to Friday, August 16th, we had four sales, three on Poshmark and one on Depop. The first was this Max Studio Duster Length Cardigan size 1X. It had been listed since July 23rd. We It sold for $22. After the $4.40 and change, I was left with $17.60. Then we had this White House Black Market Red Blazer size 12. And hopefully you guys can see that I'm trending towards larger sizes. Um, at first I was just doing it in what I picked up from the, the thrift stores and the regular Goodwills, but now I'm even doing it um, from what I pick up at the bins. I'm really being more mindful and discerning as I pick up items and just throwing a lot of extra smalls, smalls, even some mediums back, um, just because I noticed in my own inventory, those things take longer to sell. Um, next up on Poshmark, we had this Quills Hand Knit Cardigan Sweater Size Medium. It had been listed since January 30th. It sold for $15. After the $3 in fees, I was left with $12. And then on Depop, uh, we had this Sonoma Denim Shoulder Bag. 
The order total was $20. The transaction fee was $1.37 and my earnings were $18.63. And friends, that sat in my laundry room for like a month before I even listed it. So let that be a lesson. If it's not listed, it won't sell because that sold on the 10th or sold on the 16th and was listed on the 10th. So in a week's time. So for the day, we had 45 60 sell on Poshmark and then on Depop we had one sell for $18.63 and our total for the day was $64.23 bringing our weekly total to $353.99 and then we had to start a new book <laughs> on Saturday 17th August 17th we had seven sales so the most sales of any day of the week and four on Poshmark and three on eBay. And it is currently Saturday while I'm taping this. So we may have more come in. And if we do, I will update the numbers in the next video and share them with you. So on Poshmark, we have this White House Black Market Duster Cardigan, size large. It had been listed since July 7th. It sold for $35. After the $7 in fees, I was left with $28. Next up on Poshmark, we had this Ben Sherman Heritage V-neck sweater, size large. It had been listed since June 27th. It sold for $25. After the $5 in fees, I was left with $20. Then also on Poshmark, we had this Abercrombie and Finch bodysuit tan size medium. It had been listed since June 30th. It sold for $13. After the $2.95, I was left with $10.05. And Abercrombie and Finch is a trending brand. And I know that because I drop stuff off at Plato's Closet and I look at their board. Um, while you may not get that much money for it by listing it, it's probably going to sell quick quickly right now so definitely look up comps but it is a trending brand right now next up on Poshmark we have this Simply Noel purse blue this was my purse I just had I was going through my purses one day and I had two purses like this color which I like this color but I don't wear it that often <laughs> um so I didn't I kept one and I decided to sell the other so I had listed this back in May of 2023. It finally sold for $14. After the $2.95 in fees, I was left with $11.05. Then our eBay sales, we have this Club Room Cashmere V-neck sweater, purple, new with tag. It had been listed since August 8th, so about nine days. The order total was $39.40. The sales tax was $1.95. The transaction fee was $5.92. The shipping label was $5.45. And my earnings were $26.08. Then we had another Lululemon item sell this week. These were the Lululemon Hottie Hot Athletic Short Black Camo Size 6. These were a pickup at the bins, and I know that Lululemon logo anywhere. And I just was like was passing a bin, like to go line up for the rotation. And I saw these on top of the men, and I just snatched them up and put them in my car. Um, they were listed on August 1st, and they sold on September, I'm sorry, August 17th. Um, the order total was $25.70. The sales tax was $168. The transaction fee was $357. And my earnings were $2045. And then last sale so far of the week, hopefully, it is about 7 o'clock um, on Saturday when I'm filming this. So maybe we'll have a few more roll in. But as of right now, um, this eBay sale is this Schlesinger Golf Scort Blue size 2XL that was like a turquoise blue. And I've been picking up more of this type of apparel and plus sizes. I'm really, like I said, 
really focusing on larger sizes, size large, even extra, extra large and up. This had been listed since August 1st and sold on the 17th. So a quick flip, the order total was $21.19. The sales tax was $1.19. The transaction fee was $3.02 and my earnings were $16.98. So, so far for the day, Poshmark is at $69.10 for four sales and eBay is at $63.51 for three sales for $132.61 for the seven sales. And our average sale price is $18.94. Our cost of goods is $6.90. And so far for the week, we are at $486.60. And my goal was 70 or $700. We're about 70% of that. Um, right. Yeah. Um, so hopefully we get a new, a few more sales today to push me over the top. And if we do, I will share them in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure to comment down below how your week went and share the video and help me grow this community. Bye-bye. Three queens on the ground, respect and loyalty.